Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me, here for our Monday Night Football promo preview. We have the Dolphins and the Rams tonight. Before we talk about that, let's talk about last week. We did get a win, albeit it was a bit bizarre. We'll talk first about our loss, which was on DraftKings. We hit Hopkins TD, the under and Chiefs points, and Chiefs raised to 20. But unfortunately, 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 the game had a lot of points in the fourth quarter. The game went to overtime. We lost the total under 45 and a half. That's all right. Uh, ESPN was a little bit weird because McMillan looked like he was going to be a full go, but at about seven o'clock, he was scratched. Now, the good news is it just voided that leg. Otten still scored. Chiefs still won. So we got paid out, albeit not 36 to one, but 6.66 to one, which is typically not, um, it's not really a number you love to go after a little bit of the mark of the beast here. Uh, but we did beast, we did beast the parlay. We, we, we made our mark on the beast um, on Monday. So a $20 bet paid one fifty three. So if you did tail this at the beginning of the day and he was ruled out, you still got paid out on that, uh, which, which is 13 overall, 13 unit play, uh, positive anyway. So we have four wins, 22 losses on these videos, up 30, almost 32 units. It's our best video of the week and one of our least viewed videos of the week. And that's okay. Uh, these are very volatile. If you miss one play, you probably aren't up. So uh, I get it, guys. This is just for entertainment. This is just for fun. Let's talk about tonight's game, Miami and LA. Um, at, on Wednesday, when I did my picks video, I said Rams minus one is an extra most bestest pick of the week. And I've made this meme. And I don't know if this is how you, I don't know, I don't know if this is the appropriate uh, memeing of this meme. Uh, I used to get made fun of by my students when I taught because I would say things that I thought were hip or cool, and I would do it sort of ironically in a way that I knew was wrong just to get a reaction out of them. I'm not trying that with you, but the point is, am I sharp, guys? I mean, I, I said minus one uh, is a great play, is the right side, and now it is two and a half. All right, let's move on. I'm done talking about, I'm done talking. Uh, FanDuel, what are we doing, FanDuel? Can we figure it out? I don't want a 30% live boost. That doesn't help me. For these videos, I'm boycotting you. I'm not going to make a live play. And DraftKings. I mean, these books, we, we are in poverty mode right here, guys. I mean, we are down. Th we, these books are down bad, and I don't know how. Um, DraftKings has resorted to a 10% boost. What? Uh, you, they're barely giving you your juice back uh, is what this is. So uh, we do have a play, but I have some bad news for this. Oh, I'm mad. Uh, we'll talk about it in a second. And ESPN continues to be the best book in terms of promos on Monday night. However, I think we're a little bit early, a little early bird here, because this is the only one listed. I would imagine they still have their 20% boost as well as their first touchdown score insurance that we've seen week after week. But right now, only thing that was listed at the time of recording, which is about 830, is this 100% boost. That's okay. Here's a quick look at some of the touchdown data that I pulled for this week. Miami does not score with the wide receiver often, but that is because Tua has been out. He's back. Hopefully they can get their wide receivers going as that is the Rams' biggest weakness. And on the other side of the ball, uh, you know, my, uh, the Rams score well with their running back with Kyron Williams, and Miami's defense is pretty poor at allowing running back touchdowns. Now, part of that could be because they're often losing in games, and so teams are running more against them to waste clock, and so that gives more opportunities for running backs. Regardless, those are some ideas that I have. First touchdown, I don't really have any leans as far as the data goes down here. It's not too uh, you know, conducive to making an absolute stone-cold stunner pick, but we will still make one. So here's what happened. Um, you'll notice that this play is not boosted, okay? So I entered this play. Rams money line, Colby Parkinson, two catches, Cooper Cup touchdown, and the Rams to score under 35 points. Great. That's my official play. But when I went to add the boost, it said plus 880, which would be 10% boost, and I hit submit, and then it didn't submit with the boost. And I thought it must be user error. I must have done something wrong. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to do that to my loyal followers. So let me make another one. So I made another one. Um, Puka, six catches, Puka touchdown, Rams money line, Kyra Williams touchdown. And I boosted it up to 660 with the 10% boost. And you'll notice it's not 660, it's 600. You know why? Because the boost glitched again. So I don't know what happened. So, so I have 17 and 1250. I have almost $30 unboosted on plays that I like, but I would not have played without the boost. So, uh, 
these are not going to cross the threshold of official plays. However, um, if you want to use your boost and maybe wait until they figure it out, um, you know, I, uh, I'm going to email them actually because I'm I'm annoyed at this. Um, but the bottom line is here here are some here's a buffet of options. Pick and choose. All right, these are these are ultimately things I do like uh, tonight, but. I'm frustrated that the boost, I still have the boost. The boost is still in my boost wallet or my promo wallet, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll talk about official plays in a second. Uh, ESPN bet. Keeping it simple, kind of going with the reverse correlation again. If you didn't watch my video on reverse correlation or negative correlation, you can do that. I'll link it at the end of this video. We're going to go with Cup and Nakua. This is the first game that they've both been healthy and should be back in action. Now, against Seattle, they were technically, but then Puka got ejected in the first half for punching a dude. So uh, we're going to go with it. We're going to have them both to score. We're going to say that Miami is going to sure up that run defense, and they're going to make sure that Kyron Williams does not find the end zone. And Cup and Nakua are the ones who score, and we're going to go under 55 and a half. Now, if you want to be safer... Okay, you can play Cup and Nakua both to score and leave out the under. But that with the boost is plus 900. So by adding under 55 and a half, you almost double your, um, you know, price. And this is an alt line. Okay, and it's what is it? What's what's the actual total tonight? Um, 49. So it's about a touchdown more. You get about a touchdown of wiggle room. And I like the game to go under anyway. Uh, so just buy myself some insurance. That's worth it to me to knock that total up uh, and then take the under to get double the price, okay? So here are the official plays. I'm not going to list the DraftKings uh, plays as official. You can tail them if you want. If they win, I won't count it. If they lose, I won't count it just because I this is a promo video and DraftKings screwed me over and didn't put the promo on there. So all we have tonight is a two-unit play on Cup Nakua and the under. Unofficial plays... Uh, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to count this, but I, I will tell you, I am going to play Cooper Cup first touchdown with the ESPN promo if it comes out for the 100% or, or 50% insurance, okay? So uh, one official play tonight. However, if you want to look at these DraftKings and pick and choose, uh, feel free to do so. I'm a little annoyed, like I said, but it is what it is. Uh, coming soon... A little bit of an announcement here. We have the Christmas collection or holiday collection. If you're not a Christmas celebrator, that's fine. Uh, we got the holiday collection coming out. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. I do have a shop uh, where I sell some GMG merch. People don't buy it very often, uh, and I don't blame them, right? Uh, I try to make this stuff as cheap as I possibly can while still making a little bit of money back, okay, when you buy these. Uh, I do get paid a little bit, a small portion, and you get a cool shirt or hoodie or cup or sticker or hat. But coming soon will be the holiday collection. I'm going to make some Christmas-themed merchandise. So uh, just stay tuned for that. And if you want a stocking stuffer or a wrapped gift for your buddies, you can get one. All right. Uh, thank you guys. Anyway, for coming along, like, share, comment, and that's the three. That's the big three, like, share, and comment. Um we're going to keep rolling on the Green Means Go channel, and we'll see you tomorrow for our NFL rankings video. The Falcons, fraudulent.